Hello, my beautiful viewers. How are you? It is B. Welcome to the channel, Psyche Sounds by B. Thank you so much for joining me. This particular reading is for all signs of the zodiac. This is the 10th of December. I am hearing the number seven. So this goes out to about the 17th of December. So uh, the 17th of December, something specifically happening right around 7 a.m., 7 p.m. Usually when sevens come in, you really need to pay attention to the actual number itself, like sevens, nines, eights, um, sometimes ones, but the, I notice that the seven, the eights, and the nines are really, really strong when those numbers come out specifically. So really look at that, but I am hearing that. So this is going to last for today, all the way up until about the 17th of December. It may have happened to you already, but if it hasn't happened to you already, it's energy that's kind of stirring around the cosmos right now, and it's getting ready to manifest itself. A couple more quick shuffles. And we'll get started. And oh, this is kind of a free for all here and uh, free form. And so uh, just want to let you know that. So thanks for your likes, your shares, and your subscribes. I really do appreciate it. Um, I find it interesting. Um, yesterday, I was at like 12,280, not 12,000. What am I talking about? I was at like 65,280. Uh, subscribers. And then today it went all the way back down to 65,100. Yeah, like 89 or something. I mean, something's going on with the whole YouTube thing. So please ensure that if you get, you know, kicked off, unsubscribed, whatever, you really do have to uh, go in there and check and make sure that you are subscribed to my channel and make sure that it's active. Okay. All right. Let's see what we get here. I think I will do elemental energy cards for everyone. And guys, let me know what you think as far as me doing readings more frequently like this. Do you like them? Do you find them confusing? Just let me know what you think. Always curious what you guys think. And I tend to do more of these when I have, when I've just finished my monthlies or I do two months in advance. Okay. Go ahead and put your energy into the deck. Cutting the deck. Let's see what we've got coming up for uh, today or from seven uh, days from today or for some of you, what might be happening to you right now. First card, second card, third card. Oh, let's put that over here. Okay. We have three cards here. I will pull in psychic downloads um, if they come in, but we'll just do... Uh, the general definitions of the cards, and then we'll dig in a little bit deeper with the messages and the stories, okay? The first card that we have is the Ten of Pentacles. As a release of the Ten of Pentacles, this is beautiful energy. This is energy of family, getting together with family, really, really loving the family. Now, this could be family at work. You know, this is pretty significant because when we have family at work, when we feel like we're working together, when we feel like we're being, um, you know, uh, productive, it truly is a beautiful feeling. It really, really is. Okay, so a lot of you might be going through this energy of finally, we're all on the same page. We're working together for the same goal to create abundance in each of our lives. I don't feel controlled. They don't feel controlled. We feel like our contribution is, is worth something. Okay, that came in for some people. And it's probably because of the 10 with status and career. But of course, this can be family. This could be actual family. This could be spending time with family, bringing more money into the family. Maybe you've got a, a great gig that you're bringing in more money, or maybe you've got a consulting thing that you're doing right now, or maybe you got hired for a second job, or maybe you got a raise or a promotion in your job now, and now your, your family is uh, sharing in that abundance of your um, abilities, of your skills. And that's a beautiful thing. And so what we have going on here, we have several different generations. So this might be generational. This may have something to do with genetic testing. This may have something to do with, um, you know, familial genetics, something like that. So like the family tree, right, in genetics. So that could be what's going on here as well. There's something going on with dogs. And I don't know why there's two dogs here. So the two dogs are of great significance. Uh, they look like the same type of dog. So maybe someone is trying to choose between two dogs or someone wants to get another dog, just like the dog that they got. I mean, it's it's kind of one of those things, but there is something coming up about dogs, like uh, adding a dog or adding a pet 
to the family. And that's really pretty. That's really lovely. You got the grandfather. You got the grandchild. You got the son over here. The father. The father. The mother. The son. The dogs. The castle. Looks so pretty. It's beautiful. Okay. Capricorn energy could be of great significance here. Now, what is Capricorn energy? If we think about it, the, the 10th house um, is ruled by Capricorn and Saturn rules Capricorn. So this might have something going on with Capricorn, meaning Jupiter and Saturn. So there might be a Jupiter-Saturn energy coming in for some of you out there. So you might want to find out where I think it is um, 20, any time, anywhere between 20 and 29 degrees of Capricorn. Find out where that is in your middle chart. This might be where that energy is at, the house that that's in. So if you have your natal chart and you look and find out where is 20 to 29 degrees of Capricorn right here, in my natal chart, this is my fifth house, okay? So you might be getting this energy in your fifth house of romance, children, creativity, risk-taking, pets, okay? That could be what's happening. So let's see what the second card is. Oh my gosh, the four of wands. This is gorgeous. I love this. This is a homecoming. This is a welcoming. This is celebration. This is feeling as though you are truly loved. This is like, we did it. We we made it happen. This is so wonderful. It's time to celebrate. It's time to bring people over and celebrate. Uh, it could be family members that are coming over to celebrate. But wow, what beautiful energy. Oh my gosh. This is a four. And who owns the fourth house? Well, that's Cancers. And Cancers, um, they're very homey, family, um, they, they love family, they take care of their family, they're entertainers, um, they're very fatherly, they're very motherly, they're parental, okay? So there's something coming up regarding this. Maybe your mom or your dad wants you to come visit, or maybe you want to go see your mom or your dad or your siblings or whatever, but there is some beautiful celebration here. It could be a wedding, it could be an engagement, it could be a, you know, a christening, a baby shower, whatever it is. This is beautiful. There is a great celebration. 10-4. I'm hearing 10-4. So anybody who stills on like radio comms and stuff like that or the, I don't know what they call it, the CB radio, 10-4. <laughs> but something's coming up regarding 10-4. Um, maybe something happening uh, or something happened on October 4th. That was of great significance. And now something is happening here relative to that. Okay, maybe this is the answer, answer to uh, October 4th. Okay, so that could be happening for some people out there. So what do we have going on for the third card? Judgment. Whoa. Whoa. Hmm. There is a waking up of people who have been asleep, or perhaps they were put in these coffins. And the Archangel Gabriel comes and blows his horns and they wake up. They see it. They ask for forgiveness. They ask for um, another chance. Uh, they're here and they're saying, we hear you. We We wish to uh, be able to leave those ghosts of the past behind. It's time for us to face our ghosts of the past. It's time for us to face all of those trials and tribulations that we've gone through and appreciate this new awakening that is happening here. This judgment could actually be a judgment on a home. This could be a judgment as it relates to evictions, as it relates to you got the loan, as it relates to your mortgage was approved, as it relates to uh, I found the perfect home, those types of things. Like someone is giving you a call and saying, hey, 
you know, you got the place, okay? I mean, that's what's happening here. And this does come through calls. So this could be a text message, a phone call coming and saying, hey, we're going to get together, we're going to party, or hey, you got the house, or hey, you know, you got the rental place, or whatever it is. I mean, that is what is coming up here. That's gorgeous. There might be a little bit of a get together in a home where someone plays instruments and entertains people while they're going in and out of the home. And to be honest with you, and I know it is the Christmas season, but I am hearing Hark the Herald Angels Sing. So some of you might be singing that or you might be hearing that song. That's not uncommon at this time. I'm just telling you what I'm picking up. And this is a 20 and this breaks down to a two. And that two is all about that Taurus energy of self-value, the money you make from the company you work for, the money you make from the business you own. There is just this beautiful announcement it's a beautiful announcement of family working together, generations, being happy, having great teamwork. Man, the next seven days is going to be fabulous for those of you that this applies to. I would definitely say keep this energy in your, in your aura for sure. Okay, so let's see if there's another message here for other people. I am going to be pulling from the Barbieri. That's the first one. Okay, those are the other ones. Next card, please. There it is. All right, let's see what we got going on. If this story does not apply to you, perhaps this story will apply to you. And then I will pull in all of the energies of all of the cards as a full story. So this might be part of your story, or this may have already passed and now this is happening. So just use it kind of however it makes the most sense to you, okay? The first card is the devil. The devil. So the devil is all about addiction, obsessions, um material gain, control, um, toxicity, uh, suppression and oppression. Okay, that's part of that. At the beginning here, it's a 15, breaks down to a six, maybe being controlled by sexual favors. 15 breaks down to a six. The six in the uh, major arcana is the lover's card, but it also rules Virgo. Daily duties, maybe this is something that happened at work. Uh, daily duties, uh, reputation in the world, maybe something that you did is now affecting your reputation in the world as it relates to devil-like energy, you know, sex, drugs, rock and roll. Money, materialism, control, manipulation. Wow. This is unbelievable. So when I first saw this card, I saw the image of that skeleton and I thought it was the skeleton with his hands holding two candles. But upon closer inspection, those aren't two candles, those are two fingers pointing up. And that entire headdress is the head of the devil. You know, this could be controlling uh, the family through money and other means. But we'll get into the overall story here shortly. But for right now, this is Capricorn energy, Virgo energy, Daily duties, reputation, health, providers, doctors, um, you know, having this devil energy in them. Let's see what the next card is. Oh, boy. The Nine of Swords. Being haunted. Very interesting how over here I said, no longer being haunted by the ghosts of the past. 
Yeah, this person is actively being haunted. Actively. Bad memories, nightmares, uh, feeling like something backfired. Being cast out. The nine energies, the Sagittarian energy, foreign lands, foreign people, uh, travel, higher education, legal law, the occult, optimism, snake oil salesman. This person is being harassed. It's like they're being hounded and harassed by this group of weird uh, entities, like a three-headed dragon or a three-headed demon or something. Interesting. So I'm like, I'm kind of like rocking in my chair. Something about a rocking chair? Feels like somebody's rocking in their chair. I'm sorry. I am just like, all of a sudden I just want to rock. It's really weird. Ooh, rocking. Okay. What's the third card? Oh, wow. The three of pentacles reversed. No teamwork. No teamwork. Um, not able to spy. Not able to investigate something. Not able to spy. Because remember what it is here. Um, and someone pointed this out to me the other day. There's two faces there. And I said, oh, I never saw that face, like this face down here. I never saw that face before. But there's one here, too. There's one like right here as a face. Okay. And when this is upright, this is about time, all of the time, everything, the spying, the, um, like, a whole group of people, it almost looks like, are behind this person and... They seem to be very calm and they're just checking things out, like watching somebody. And the clock is ticking, but perhaps the Three of Pentacles reverse means time's up. It's possible. In the next seven days, time is up. Now let's pull the whole story together, shall we? There might have been some sort of control over a family regarding money, obsession, uh, family heirlooms, family property, inheritances. There might be some interesting energy here where there's a lot of devil energy and toxicity energy that might be in the family. It might even be with friends, might even be with neighbors. It might be that someone had something backfire on them, some sort of celebration, some sort of a get together, some sort of uh, understanding or um, reunion that came in here actually turned out to backfire on somebody. Somebody was stabbed in the back. Someone was not treated well. Okay. Maybe someone thought that they were going to get a hero's welcome. And all of a sudden it's like they're being, they're being outed. They're being uh, put, you know, in a compromising situation. Okay. And the judgment day is here. The time is up. Time's up. You know, this kind of looks to me too, like the white picket fence, like telling people one thing, but the energy that they hold within is quite another. So in the end, it's regardless of what it looks like on the outside, they're attracting what is really on the inside. Like a boomerang effect. Okay. And so when this happens, when this happens where, you know, um, there's like this, you know, come and join me and, and enjoy life with me and party with me and be part of my family. The thing is, is once somebody gets there, it's full of obsession, possession, um, coercion, manipulation, control, sex, drugs, rock and roll. And it's, it's, backfiring now. 
And this to me, as far as time is up, this is universe. I don't think this is 3D. I think this is universal. I think that there's like a universal clock and that clock is saying time is up. It is time for judgment. The judgment to be released, the judgment to be revealed. Pretty fascinating. Let's pull a card for each of the signs. Or I'm sorry, each of the elements, and then I'll let all of you go. First card is going to be for Earth signs. So Earth signs, what's up with you? Ooh. Flying cards, Earth sign, flying cards. All right. There's two cards here, Earth sign, so I'm going to give you both. All right. First card is victory. There is a victory, Earth sign, for some of you. You might be going through this energy, and maybe you're finally moving away from this energy. Maybe this is the energy that was part of your past, but now this is part of your present. And you're kind of looking back and you're truly appreciating, you know, I'm actually thanking everyone for where I've been because if I wouldn't have known about this, then I wouldn't feel like this. There's that victory. This is a 28, breaks down to a 10, completion, something completes here. Another 10. So this victory might be related to family. Family money, family get-togethers, family reunions, those types of things. What's the second card? The sun. So uh, Earth sign, you might be going to a sunny location, traveling to a sunny location. Maybe you win something regarding maybe a vacation. Maybe you win a vacation or you win a cruise or Something like that, but there is some sort of uh, energy here. The sun is all about enjoying time by the water, feeling free, feeling independent, feeling loved. So I feel for the majority of you, you perhaps were in this energy for a while. And then all of a sudden, you decided to say, enough of that. I'm just done with that. And you started giving more attention to this energy up here while not enabling, okay, while not making people dependent on you or you dependent on others. And then what basically happened is the energy changed and now you have this beautiful victory with this beautiful independence. That's what I feel or sign. I mean, you may disagree with me and you're more than welcome to disagree with me, but um, that's what I feel. That's what I feel for you. And some of you might be going through this still, okay? What about the air signs? What's going on with the air signs? Now, my intent is only one card, but if two pop out, I'll do two. All right, air signs, what do we got for you? Seventh chakra, Archangel Uriel. This is psychic abilities, air signs. Do you have psychic abilities? Does somebody else have psychic abilities? Are you following a psychic air sign? This is a 41, breaks down to a five. That's about conflict. So what I feel here, uh, air sign, is perhaps you were going through this energy right here. You felt trapped. You felt uh, suppression, oppression, uh, sex, drugs, rock and roll. It constantly haunting you, haunting you, haunting you. Feeling like you wanted to spy on people, investigate on people, sneak up behind them, find out what they're doing. And having this energy around you created this weird cycle of, of um, mistrust. And then maybe a psychic came in, or maybe you accessed your own psychic abilities, or maybe you read a self-help book or something like that, and you turned it around into something a little bit more fruitful, a little bit more welcoming, a little bit more stable, a place where you can go and talk and open up and, and take care of problems and have the discussion and have the, um, the wherewithal and the confidence in yourself to know that if I have this difficult discussion, I can find a solution. It's gorgeous. You have a lot of purple energy around you. The crown. That's a big crown. I don't see any dental energy here, but for some of you, there might be dental energy regarding needing to replace a crown, but I'm just going to throw that out there. But this is about stability and this is about identity. And there was some sort of um, psychological download that you got, air sign, that said, you know what? I'm going to change something ever so slightly about how I approach my family at work or my family within my biological family. 
Am I welcoming? Am I not welcoming? Am I judgmental? I'm going to start being a little bit more emotionally intelligent. And maybe once I do that, maybe I'll find that there's another solution out there and I can get away from this energy. I think that's what some of you did. Someone might be considering um, getting their hair, like going platinum with their hair. Might be a woman with long platinum, or long blonde hair, who has access to the book, whatever that means, the book. All right, air sign. Okay, water signs, what do we have for you? What's your general energy for the next seven days? Or now, anytime between now and the next seven days, even if you went through a little bit of it already. Cornucopia, 11, gorgeous, abundance, overflowing, feeling like all of your needs are being met, feeling like there's teamwork, feeling like there's movement forward, feeling like you have money in the bank, feeling, feeling that abundance. This could be, even if you don't have that, maybe you have this fear state, okay? Maybe if you tap into the cornucopia, tap into the abundance, you're going to start to attract this type of energy. So maybe the, the advice from universe is saying, focus on your abundance, focus on your cornucopia. The 11, this is twin flame energy. You must have a twin flame in your life right now, water sign, or they believe you're their twin flame. You got two twin flame cards here. You got the 11 twin flame energy and you got the 11 11 here. That's twin flame. And I, you know me guys, I do not talk about twin flame very often at all. But someone feels very abundant with you. This could even be someone is talking to their parents or their family about getting married, getting engaged. Or someone could be talking about their family or their siblings or, or their friends, whatever, boyfriend or girlfriend, about feeling like you're surrounded by abundance. Maybe you're surrounded by good food. You have a lot of variety. You feel like you're being treated like a king. You feel like you're being treated like a queen. You don't want for anything. So water sign, if you feel like you're in this energy, focus on this energy. You know, on your phone, like take a picture of this card and then size it, edit it. So all you see is cornucopia and, and really look at it and, and really be there. Go in there, start eating the fruit that you see and feeling the sun on your face, the freedom you feel. And maybe that'll be just enough for you to start getting the wheel to turn to start attracting this type of energy into your life. Beautiful energy. Wow. Fire sign. What's going on with you? Fire sign. What have we got? Fire sign. There. The temple path fire sign. Are you going to the temple to pray? I don't know why I just heard that, but someone wanted me to ask the question. Are you going to your temple to pray? Are you praying at the temple? It's almost like somebody's mom or somebody's family member is saying, like maybe somebody's going through this energy fire sign and then you're a family member or a friend responds, well, are you going to the temple to pray? Are you praying at the temple? That may help. But yeah, that was just a sidebar. I don't know. I don't know why it came up like that. But the 12 energy, you break it down. It's the three, which is the house of Gemini, contracts, agreements, negotiations, siblings, short distance travel, communications of all sorts, social media, uh, the truth, gossip, um, everything that is Gemini, multitasking. I feel that the ancestors are around you. So if you have been feeling a family member, maybe a family member has passed away, they're going to be coming to visit you. Maybe they're going to be visiting you in the next seven days. 
Maybe they want to talk to you or you want to talk to them. That's what it feels like to me, fire sign. Something about path. This could be pathology as well because, you know, when we see the, the Ten of Pentacles, that's that can be genetics, okay? That can be uh, familial, uh, you know, hereditary types of uh, genetic dispositions. And this could be pathology. So getting your blood checked, looking looking at your blood underneath the scope. This could be what that is too. Because when you look at this upright, you know, they're looking through like a microscope. I know it doesn't look like a microscope, but it is, it's through an ocular, okay? Even though it's kind of a clock, you know, like they got one eye open and the other eye is closed. So, um... There might be something going on here where someone needs to get their blood looked at. Or maybe they get blood work done. Argosy? Is there something called Argosy? 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 I don't know. I don't know what that means. Argosy. Sometimes I get weird words, fire sign. It, it just is what it is. I'm also hearing the long and winding road. Um, I think that was by Paul McCartney. Or he sang it. That song may be of great significance for some of you fire signs. All right, we are going to go ahead and uh, call it good. And I hope you like these more frequent readings. Um, if you do, let me know. Uh, I can put more, I put one out a day or one out every couple days or whatever. I'm also going to step it up with my IR and my members. I'm also going to be doing special little readings for my members as well. So members, you'll be getting... Uh, more frequent readings as well, just for you. Okay, so I wish all of you the best, much light, much love, and many blessings. Namaste.